every avenger lost something in the third movie even the avengers lost against thanos in the third movie so let's see who lost the most in the third movie number 4 captain america captain lost his shield in his third movie and since shield is a symbol it is a big loss but he was in underground after that movie and he had all his powers so the shield was no too useful for him at that time and he got the shield back number 3 iron man iron man lost his house and all his suits in this third movie but since he is a genius billionaire playboy philanthropist he got everything back number 2 spiderman spiderman lost everything because he lost his identity but the reason he is in the second place is that everyone is still alive except ant me and he can get them back number 1 thor thor lost his father favorite hammer one eye and his home asgard and those are with him for over 1500 years and it's a big sacrifice So if you take a very closer look three reasons why MCU is dying number 1 bad cgi this takes out the interest number 2 story the stories nowadays are very ground based and don't make any sense number 3 toxic feminism no comments simply waste these are in the new movie of flash there is a main reason to say the movie is bad see at the beginning of the movie flash replaces one tomato can and it made a big disaster but even after this he did the same at the end of the movie he again replaced the tomato can but this time instead of one can he replaced a rack full of tomato cans just imagine how many different types of outcomes it had made then what did he learn from his experience there is no character arc in this whole movie this is why i said in the first avengers you can see the fight between captain iron man and thor in that moment you can see thor attacking tony with this lightning or thunder but instead of damaging iron man's suit it charged it but if you take a closer look this charge will be in a suit for the entire movie and this is called attention to detail and now you know batman and joker are the best duo in the entire world they are totally opposite to each other in every small thing but at the same time batman and joker you know everything about each other more than themselves now you know the top 3 best casting in marvel and the last one will shock you number 3 Nick Fury this character's point of view can be easily derived by his appearance number 2 captain america we can get that boldness courage and leadership attitude only from chris evans number 1 iron man the best word to explain or understand iron man is rdj this is this must be one of the best joke in the entire marvel i'm going to ask you this one time where is gamora yeah i'll do you one better who's gamora i'll do you one better Why is Gamora? Tell me where the girl is or I swear to you I'm going to french fry this little freak. Let's do it. You shoot my guy and I'll blast him. Let's go. Do it, Quill. I can take it. No, he can't take it. She's right. You can't. Oh yeah, you don't want to tell me where she is? That's fine. I'll kill all three of you and I'll beat it out of Thanos myself. Starting with you. Wait, what? Thanos. All right, I, let me ask you this one time. What master do you serve? What master do I serve? What am I supposed to say? Jesus? You're from Earth. Not from Earth, I'm from Missouri. Yeah, that's on Earth, dipshit. What are you hassling us for? So you're not with Thanos? With Thanos? No. I'm here to kill Thanos. He took my girl. Wait, who are you? You're the Avengers, man. You're the And now you know how Black Panther has been lied. When he took the hub for the first time, he woke up in a dark grave showing us all the dark hidden secrets of his father. But when he took it for the second time, he woke up in a bright place showing us he's ready for everything. And now you know how being Spider-Man is harder than you think. Spider-Man is the only character who makes several sacrifices not only in movies but also in games and comics. But these sacrifices and pain make him stronger and lovable. And now you know. Have you ever heard of Captain America paradox? First Let's recap in game. Captain got the hammer. Thanos broke Captain's shield during the fight. The Avengers won. Captain went to the past. Captain came back with old but with a brand new shield. How? And this makes us think. Wait, we noticed this. Captain America proves every time in every single frame that he is a responsible leader. So next time when you see a movie breaking down Loki season 2 episode 4 under 60 seconds. Wicked Timely enters TVA. Wicked Timely meets OBE. Wicked Timely uses his new device to fix the time loop. Miss Minutes and Rensley kills General Dog Sander army. Brad kidnaps Wicked Timely. Loki pumps himself. OBE reboots the TVA and now magic can be used inside. Miss Minutes dies. Selvi enchants Brad. Brad prunes Rensley. Loki saves Wicked Timely. Wicked Timely voluntarily goes to fix the loop. Wicked Timely dies. Everyone is now in a confused state. And this is this guy here. As a very special power called fourth wall breaking just check him out he breaks movies tv shows games and even youtube hey buddy how's it going on i just want to introduce you to one amazing no, guy no 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 just stop it deadpool 3 is getting crazy like just see this leaked pic you can see ant man and many other characters in it and of course as we all know this is edited but the real problems comes when these pics are released by ryan reynolds 
and i know this is making you more curious so to know that why runner ryan ronalds uh, is doing this you must first watch my full video about it and now you know how doctor strange is not who you think like every time he asks a person for help they will die he asked asian one for help she died he asked tony for help he too died and he asked wanda for help a building landed on her and now you know why did you know the scene in no way home when peter meets stain he slips not because of the eyes this scene is not at all in the script and it's totally a coincidence and now did you notice in loki season 2 this scene loki says to mobius that he too had a problem with his brother and dad and tried to conquer the earth but the avengers stopped him it is because the only fight this loki participated is was the avenger 2012 fight and now it's time to ask every single character took part in avengers in game like if you freeze the frame for a single second you can see the main focused characters fighting and also the background characters fighting this shows that every single person who arrived to that place took part in that fight with and without powers and even though they didn't know how to fight did they did something in the background instead of just disappearing again and now you know how i know what kind of god i need to be I am Loki and I am burdened with glorious purpose and this makes him the best character best to see in the entire MCU as Loki how Ned opened the portal when people like Doctor Strange struggled it is because in MCU magic works for people who believe in it and if you take a closer look Doctor Strange was not believing in it in the beginning but Ned believed it Have you know Hulk can see ghosts because the gamma radiations which Hulk observes is produced by one below all a pure evil since he observes its radiation he also observes his power and that is the reason why Hulk cannot die and now you know how how Peter Parker controlled his body when he is in astral form what this feels amazing It's because of the spidey sense which took over his body when his soul was away. You can even see it activating near his head and that is the reason Stains cannot grab the box from him. In the end if you notice properly you may see his body pushing itself to reach his soul. And now you know who does the best cameo in MCU. You may think it's as Wong or Hulk but in reality it is Stan Lee from Tony Stark to Spider-Man Homecoming. His cameos are amazing and Marvel had even teased him as a watcher level been but unfortunately he passed away. Rip legend. And now we know in game should have ended like this uh. why did doctor stan did not teleport avengers to titan or wakanda it may be because of the possibilities he had saw and now we know how hulk respects captain america in end game we saw when loki changes his look hulk gets angry it is not because hulk has less iq but in reality hulk got angry because he knew loki insulted captain america and now we know how uh, iron man sculpture red suit Like if you see in Iron Man 2 when Pepper delivers him a suitcase suit, you may not think that foot holder to make the suitcase into a suit. But if you take a closer look, then you may spot another foot holder in that case. And this is an amazing quality from Tony Stark. He always thinks of every probability. And now we know. I am Loki. Alaskar. and i am burdened with glorious purpose he had become extremely powerful more powerful than thor because he can now control our travel to time space and time just like space and time stone he can enchant people just like mind stone and he can make institutions and make them real just like the reality stone how loki handled the radiation when people like victor timely with the suit turn into noodles there must be two possible theories first loki may have used his magic or loki's genes may have saved him and now you know In the new trailer of Loki season 2, uh yes it's a new trailer. We saw Loki had a problem called time slipping to multiple timelines. But how will the problem come to Loki when he is in TVA? Can you get my point? See, TVA is not controlled by time and space. In simple words, time and space doesn't work on TVA. That is the reason why all the infinity stones are just color stones in TVA. Then how the hell can Loki do slip time slipping? And understand time slipping because how old is our god of thunder? Thor. You may think he is a 20 to 30 year old man, but according to MCU, Thor is 1500 years old, making him the oldest Avenger. But he is very young compared to the comic Thor, who is between 1000 and 1 million years old. Now we have the answer for the question. I love you 3000 was originally said to be I love you tons. But since RDJ used to do tell this to his kids when they go to bed, he felt extremely connected to this line. So RDJ changed it to "I love you 3000," and soon it became a very iconic line, which can even bring tears easily. I love you 3000. 3000. That's crazy. 
and now you know how there is one person who remembers Peter Parker's Spider-Man. Like in the end of No Way Home, you saw the Christians casting a spell that makes everybody forget Peter Parker. But there is one person who remembers him. He is the Hulk, not Bruce Banner, the Hulk. Because the spell was casted when Bruce was in human form. Thanks to Shang-Chi. Now you know how Stormbreaker got his own emotions because a part of Stormbreaker is Groot and of course Groot has emotions. And now you know how Thanos knew Iron Man in Infinity War. It is because when Iron Man destroyed the Chitari ship, he became universe famous. That is the reason why Grandmaster never knew well. And now we know. I could do this all day. Have you ever wondered what is the real meaning of this place? The real meaning of this place is unwearing determination and resilience in the face of adversity. Is Loki finally worthy to lift the Mjolnir? The answer is both yes and no because Loki and Thor are extremely over, expressly Loki. Thor became worthy by just trying to do a sacrifice but Loki did the sacrifice and this lead to a conclusion that Loki is worthy but Mjolnir is not worthy to be in the hands of Loki. And now you know. Both Captain America and Iron Man proved that the opposite character was wrong in the end game. Like in Avengers, Ca our Captain called Tony as a selfish man but Tony broke it by in end game by doing a sacrifice. And Tony called Steve as an experiment from bottles but Steve broke it by lifting the Mjolnir. And now we know how Iron Man and Loki are actually the same. Like they both were selfish and sadistic at the beginning, but at the end, they both did the sacrifice that no one ever imagined. Now we know how Iron Man created mutants. Iron Man's endgame snap resulted in an extreme amount of radiation all over the universe. This radiation may alter some people's DNA and turn them into mutants. We you know. We all know Tony Stark always learns from his mistake, but there are few times when Tony copied from his colleagues. Like he copied Thor's hammer spell, which can fly to anywhere from anywhere in the universe in Iron Man 3. And Hulk strength by Hulk Buster and Captain Shield in Infinity War and etc. And now we know that Iron Man discovered Vibranium. In Iron Man 2, Tony discovers a new element called Badassium and sees its structure. This structure is totally same as the structure of Vibranium which we saw in episode 6 of War 2. And now you know, Iron Man is not dead. In the end of Endgame, we can notice Iron Man's hologram directly looking at his daughter. But holograms cannot do this. Just like in comics, Tony may have copied his brain into an AI. This gives us a conclusion that Iron Man will never deserve this. In this very iconic dialogue, the Russo brothers had a plan to throw the first F bomb of MCU on Thanos using Iron Man, but it was rejected due to several reasons and side effects. And now you know, Iron Man will be in Deadpool 3. Deadpool is now officially in Marvel and Deadpool 3 is an R-rated multiverse movie where there are a lot of special character cameos. If we link all these news, there is a highly low chance of seeing Iron Man back. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. You know, James Gunn is killing DCU. He is just spoiling his own universe and flopping DCU extended universe movies just using posts and videos. Now you know, I'm the strongest AI in MCU. It's not Jarvis or Ultron, but he is Kevin because he can make changes in MCU in just seconds. And this makes Joker is the best character in the entire world. See, every character needs a very strong backstory to stay in our hearts, but Joker doesn't have one. His mind, his point of view and everything is confusing to us in real life. And this leads to a conclusion that new Avengers movie is better than you think. The Lego Avengers code red is a nice feel good and a comedy movie. The storyline is the collector starts collecting red people like Red Hulk, Red She-Hulk and etc. In this red collection, the Red Guardian aka Black Widow's father is also kidnapped. So the story goes like how Natasha and the team will rescue his father with other Avengers. This movie features many extra characters like Black Panther, Wolverine and Falcon. The first few minutes of the story are boring, but after that it gets slowly interesting and crazy. The animation quality is good, not the best, but it is good. And this is the review for the... Marvel and Tom Hiddleston had just dropped Loki's entry teaser and revealed some of the future plans but the problem comes when we don't know whether this information is real or not. This is an extreme issue in Dr. Strange's multiverse of madness you see this cloak of levitation getting damaged because of that he gives it to Christine to fix it but when Christine fixed it you can see a blue color cloth used for patchwork and that small piece of blue cloth is from Dr. Strange of that universe and this may cause an incursion event. And now you know how MC is bad. Feminism. Feminism is of two types, healthy and toxic feminism. A healthy one tells us that women will also do this. But MCU feminism easily says, since I am a woman, I am doing this. 
now you know the main reason why all kang variants are from one person victor timely is earliest version of kang let me explain when a man asks victor timely to be his partner he refuses it because he loves to be alone and he who remains does the same he maintained a sacred timeline where none of his variants can enter and now you know how marvel is in a danger due to the saga first strike deadpool 3 is now postponed from march of 2024 to october or december of the next year and due to this marvel movies like secret wars can also get postponed to 2028 or 2029 due to the ripple effect and this can also lead to a loss and now you know how marvel is in a serious problem 10th november friday loki season 2 episode 6 got released and easily became a badass but at the same day the marvels an absolutely dumb ass movie but my question is is marvel can do awesome projects why are they not doing it and now you know how, how marvel took this very important decision like after the infinity stones got destroyed by thanos there is nothing to protect the universe so that this is the reason why popular characters are becoming the power houses like loki beta coming the god of stories of time the power of time stone and wanda becoming scarlet witch so that she could control the reality and become a reality stone and now you know the echo trailer has just released and it's awesome like marvel is becoming dark it feels like a netflix themed movie and all the episodes are going to get released in the same day and the, in the trailer there is a small cameo of that devil what do you think about it and now you know did nolan spoil hope and hammer The answer is both yes and no. Since Oppenheimer is an amazing movie and satisfied our expectations, we celebrate it. If it is a movie like She-Hulk, it would definitely fail. Our expectation would kill the film. But the main source of expectation and hype for Oppenheimer is Nolan. It's the answer to the question. Rocket is not a raccoon. Like everyone will call him in different names. Like Thor calls him rabbit and Yandu calls him rat. Mantis calls him puppy. Nebula calls him fox. So this is why I said Spider-Man is stronger than you think. What the f- Spider-Man can lift up to 5 times its body weight. If we compare this to a human, Spider-Man can lift up to 800 to 1000 pounds of weight easily. Tells us Star-Lord is the best hero in the entire MCU. Like he just met the Avengers few hours ago, but still he made an awesome plan. But at the end, he spoiled the whole plan. And now you know. Oh, Spider-Man is a good fighter, but how? He is just a teen and a nerd. He doesn't even know any arts like Batman. Then how is Peter Parker fighting so well? The answer is spider sense. See, spider sense gives interactions or controls Peter's body at certain times to protect him. This is what Spider-Man liked to us. In our crosses and beyond the Spider-Verse, we saw people glitching when they traveled to other universes. But in No Way Home, we didn't see the Spider-Man glitching. It is because in our crosses and beyond the Spider-Verse, they used to take to do that, which made them glitch. Whereas in No Way Home and Multiverse of Madness, they used magic to travel universes. So it did not cause any glitching. But it caused an incursion event. Amazing, right? And now you know. Host top three strongest Avengers in MCU. The last one is not who you expect. Three, Captain America. Steve Rogers is both physically and mentally strong. Number two, Thor. Remember that one time when he managed the full power of his star. Number one, Hulk. Pain equal to anger and anger equal to strength. This is top three strongest characters in MCU. Number three, Thor. Thor is a god and he has specialized the power of thunder. Number two, Wanda. Wanda has the power to change, alter, or even tear the reality. Number one, Loki. Loki can control time and travel through time, and especially he can rewrite your stories. And now you know. I am Iron Man. This most iconic dialogue was originally scripted as I am Tony Stark, but due to R D J, the praise was changed to the most iconic line in the entire Marvel universe. Have you ever wondered how Groot grew too fast, like from a baby to a full adult? The reason for his growth is that he is consistently absorbing very powerful radiations from his friends. Now it's time to ask: Thor must be the adopted child. It's the unity between Loki and Ella that makes the Thor. different like they dress colors magic and even the way they take their knives this is something that makes thor stand out of the crowd or separate if you're not getting my point just have a closer look have you ever wondered what would happen if the rest 50% of avengers get dusted in the snap it's very easy they would have lost it now it's time to ask how this is an extremely weird theory about canon event why should every spider man get bitten by a radioactive spider lose an uncle ben while well, spider man 2029 did not undergo any of these steps like who taught him about the canon events it must be spot in the beginning he was only traveling through space but suddenly he started to travel to other dimensions in other timelines according to this theory smart must have told spider man 2029 about canon event so that he could stop miles from from saving his father and break miles into unrecognizable pieces 
and Navina, the character who loves and misses Iron Man the most, not his wife or daughter or Peter Parker or even his best friend. That character is you because we love him, trust him, and miss him. This makes you as the main plot hole that the writers forgot while writing Love and Thunder. Though so knew the Stormbreaker is the only way, then why didn't he use it during the Infinity War or Endgame? This is called the lazy writing. And now you know Thor and Loki are the best duo in Marvel. Like if there is no Loki, Thor is not gonna be the same. Or if there is no Thor, Loki is definitely not gonna be our favorite villain. And this makes us say, Is it better to be feared or respected? And I say, Is it too much to ask for both? This scene you may notice Tony Stark wearing sunglasses, not for style or look, but in reality, RDJ used sunglasses so that he can read the script properly. Okay, season two, we saw this guy as a TV worker, but do you know his story? Trust me, it's more than you think. He started as a kid actor in India in the 1980s, but after that, he did some small roles till the 90s. But eventually, the studios doesn't want an Asian actor in their movies, so he left his career for about 30 years. But after that, in 2022, he did his iconic role in Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, one and all. Mom, I just want an Oscar. And now he's back with Loki. This is the saddest part in the entire MCU. See, if you see in Avengers Endgame, the first few minutes when Tony was stuck in space, he was playing with Nebula for entertainment. But when Nebula won, she was shocked. It is because it is the first time Nebula had ever won, and it was a big change for her and her story. And now you know how the top most wasted character in the MCU. Hulk in the MCU has evolved in a nerdy, gentle beast. But Marvel's original comic Hulk is filled with anger and strength. This makes him top three trustworthy heroes in Marvel. Number three, Hawkeye and Black Widow. Both of them are always ready to do a sacrifice. But the reason they are in the third place is that they will do a sacrifice without even knowing the outcome. Number two, God of Thunder, Thor, and God of Stories, Loki. Both will go to any extent for their loved ones and will do anything for people who they believe as their family and friends. Number one, Iron Man and Captain America. Both are extremely trustworthy and awesome characters who you can trust fully without any doubts. And now you know this is the worst ending in Marvel history because in Loki season two we saw him be doing a sacrifice and becoming the god of stories. But the original ending was planned as Loki becoming a watcher level being, but that would not be good. Thank God Marvel changed the ending. But the real question is, will Loki return in the other project? Do you get that answer? You must watch my full video about it. And now you know how vibranium and uru are not the strongest metal in the MCU because they both can be easily destroyed. For example, Hela broke Thor's hammer, which is made of uru, and Thanos broke Captain's shield, which is made of vibranium. Now you know how. Hey Hugh, you want to play Wolverine one more time? Yeah, sure. I Ryan Reynolds several times spoke about Deadpool, but one time Deadpool spoke about Ryan Reynolds not in movies but in comics. Cable and Deadpool issue two. Both Cable and Deadpool were searching a virus which can heal anything. At that time, to get that virus from Cable, Deadpool said, "Just see my face. It looks like Ryan Reynolds and Star P cross." Why Peter Parker didn't tell this to MJ? You take a closer look. When Peter was about to start the conversation about her injury, she said, "It doesn't hurt anymore." Doesn't really hurt anymore. This made Peter think that it's not safe when MJ is with him, and it is good to stay away from her. And now you know why Doctor Strange gave the time stone to Thanos because strangers are always willing to do a sacrifice for a better thing. Then why did Doctor Strange sacrifice his time stone? The answer is strangers are always ready to do a sacrifice. And Doctor Strange know the one outcome where they won, and he also knew that Tony Stark is cursed with knowledge, and he will do something to bring them back. And now you know who did the biggest sacrifice, Iron Man or Loki? It is your choice. You may choose anyone, and no one is gonna judge you because both are worthy of being in the first place. And now you know why Heimdall sent help to Earth. In the opening of Avengers: Infinity War, we saw Thanos captured Thor's ship and killed many Asgardians. At that time, Loki had no other choice, so he summoned the Hulk. But after when he Hulk got defeated, Heimdall sent help to Earth. But he knows Hulk for only few minutes, and he knows Thor from his birth and knows how powerful he is. But then why did he do it? This is because Thor said it to Heimdall using Heimdall vision. She to send Hulk to Earth so that he can call all Avengers, all other Avengers, and Thor must make his new weapon so he cannot go back to Earth. And now we know too when Peter Parker became Spider-Man. There are a lot of different ages which differs from a lot of different comics and movies. But the ideal point is Peter Parker became Spider-Man when he is bitten by a radioactive spider as a teenager. Now you know the answer.
In Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, we can find many Peter Parkers, but only one Miles Morales in the entire movie. Is there only one Miles Morales in the whole movie? The answer is no. It's all Miguel's plan. Miguel actually knew that the point of view of Peter and Miles is totally different in the canon we went. If one Miles can do so much, then imagine what two tons of Miles could do. How is it even possible, Marvel? What is going on? Like an unexpected time. Two trailers have been released, Madame Web and What If, especially the What If trailer is pretty good. It has more over 9 episodes and 1 episode for every day for 9 days straight and there are a lot of information. I will let you know soon. Now you know, Iron Heart suck. Tony created a new technology to escape and fight for his freedom. He then used it for good of mankind after seeing all the harm his weapons have caused. But he rebuilt a machine to spike her teacher. When that turned into a problem, she said, Fuck off. And this is why, what is Sylvie's Nexus event is? Not clearly explained in series. But according to a theory, her Nexus event is that she is too good and she is not suitable for being Loki. Because Loki is popularly once known as God of Mischief and a good girl can't do it. And now we know who is the coolest character ever. You may think it is J- Jack Sparrow or Indiana Jones, but he is not even close to the list. But to know that, you must first watch my full video about that one topic. And now we know who is the most famous Avenger in the MCU. For you, it may be Iron Man or Captain America, but for people in MCU, it is Ant Man because he has a podcast, Big Me, Little Me, that many of everyone in Marvel follows, including people like Kamala Khan. It is because in that podcast, he tells people that what happened during Endgame and Endgame fight clearly with some extra fittings. And now you know. Who is the most powerful guardian? Even the Nebula is a techie and Mantis can control your mind, Starlight is the most powerful guardian because he is an half celestial and he has all the powers of a celestial. Now you know. Who is the richest character in MCU? You may think it has Tony Stark but in reality Odin, father of Thor and Loki captured many realms and saving it in Asgard making Thor the richest. But wait a minute. Asgard is completely destroyed. It must be Tony Stark. But wait. He is dead. It must be Morgan Stark. And now you know why Loki created a tree using all timelines. Because in a tree branches do grow but it will not destroy itself. And at the same time Loki is an Asgardian. And now we know why Mjolnir came for Jane Foster but not for Thor. It is because in a lovely scene Thor tells Mjolnir to protect her in any cost. But soon as he leaves it pro- turns into a smell. So that is the reason why Mjolnir got reformed to Jane Foster. Since she was suffering from cancer and needed Mjolnir's radiations to stay alive. And that is the reason why Mjolnir did not come to Thor. Because if it comes to Thor, Jane Foster will die and it will be against its spell. And now we know why Peter Quill doesn't know he is from Earth. What master do you serve? What master do I serve? What am I supposed to say? Jesus? You're from Earth. I'm from Earth. I'm from Missouri. Yeah, that's on Earth, dipshit. What? Because according to space beings, Earth is called as Terra and Earth is called only Earth inside Earth. And in other places, they give their own name. Since Peter Kool was abducted by Wandu when he was 8 years old, he may have forgotten his planet's name because there are a lot of names for it. And Star Lord is right because he is from Missouri, which is located on Earth, aka Terra. It's, and now you know why Thor did this in Avengers Endgame because we can see Thor always wearing a gloves in his hand for the entire movie it is because as we all know Chris Hemsworth was wearing a suit that shows him fat and to hide that suit in his hands he must wear a glove or it will be extremely unreal and now you know why Thanos needed all his 6 infinity stones when he can just use the soul stone and wipe out half of the population because if you use the soul stone there will be no much dead bodies so he used the reality stones to turn them into dust he used the space stone to let the effect travel across the universe and mind stones helped him to decide who to kill and it can communicate with all stones power stone helped him to make such a powerful blip and time stone ensured that that this effect happened at the same time and it also ensured all six infinity stones worked at the same time and now we know why Thanos used all four infinity stones to kill Stark when he can just finish him. It is because Thanos knew that Strange would somehow bring him back with the time stone. And as a person cursed with knowledge, Tony will do something else. So that is the reason why Thanos used all four infinity stones to kill Stark. And now we know.